Welcome back, this is Yamba Jack. Did you expect anything other than Gunslinger Ashford Asylum Suicidal? Because you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. I didn't even know. I alt tapped to go take a peek at um, the Twitter post I was given by Jugmeet Singh, and, uh, which apparently is the way that it's pronounced. My bad, but uh, I don't think it's a big deal anyway. Um, Mispronouncing names is something that's annoying for the people whose names you're mispronouncing, I'm sure. But uh, recognizing it and being willing to change how you pronounce that and learn the way to, to do it properly is... Um, I think, you know, it outweighs the negatives of having missed it in the first place, personally. That's that's my experience with uh, with people who um, have, have names that I mess up. <laughs> Is, uh, is by and large they're more happy when uh, when I'm like okay yeah cool I'll, I'll learn it that way uh, then they were sad when I did it wrong you know because they're not really sad when I do it wrong and then um, yeah anyway 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 apparently that's um whole thing it's been planned for I mean obviously it's a you know political leader kind of playing a video game there, there's obviously a lot of planning and marketing and stuff that has to go into it and it's, it's gonna be a, a total thing to, to show that he's relatable and I'm sure he is because he's also a human being but um, you know it's obviously been in the works for a while but Looking at the Twitter feed and all that, it was uh, or something else entirely. goes back a couple of days, I believe. A couple of days, and I'm sure they were talking about it before then. You know. Anyway, um, anyway, I was checking through uh, Jugmeet Singh's Twitter feed. I was checking through the Twitter feed and. Uh, I love I love Twitter sometimes because I don't use Twitter personally. For me, I do have a Twitter. I don't use it. I do have one, but I do not use it. Um, I don't like I don't. I don't I, it's gonna sound bizarre, but for me, social media is just. It's, I don't really like. It. I know that I'd probably be doing better if I were to be promoting my accounts on YouTube or on Twitter as well. But like, just I just. Until I'm rich enough to afford an intern to do it for me, it's just not something I care about. And I'm not gonna force myself to do something I don't like for views. It's not. It's not me. Anyway, uh, but sometimes I love Twitter. I love. I love reading it. I just don't like using it so much. Um. See that jump? By the way, it was a sick jump. It was a sick jump. You can't deny it. You can never take that away from me. You may ridicule me for taking damage to, to other things as I attempted it, but you can never take away the pride that I feel for having made that jump. Anyway, so uh, sometimes I love Twitter because smart people, people who are smart, people who you wouldn't necessarily expect to be using slang, uh, misspellings, lazy writing kind of stuff, you know, like people, like PPL. Or, um, you know, any any of that kind of stuff. You know, like you instead of you. Like you instead of Y-O-U. Um, you know, people you wouldn't expect to be doing that kind of stuff because you, you just, you know, they're they're smart, intelligent, and, and they know and understand and appreciate the value of the, the letters that we use in, in these words and, and the meaning that's behind them and yada, yada, yada. You know, I mean, it's okay for, for things to change. I do it all the time, right? But... When when you're just like you know you instead of you, I mean it's you're you're just it's just lazy. It's just lazy. It's just lazy. Okay. Um, anyway, um, like in some cases it's fine. Like uh, I say bra, you know bra's kind of a similar kind of thing, right? Like I see you know yeet and like it, it, languages evolve and stuff, but you instead of you isn't really evolving. PPL instead of people isn't really evolving. It's not really, it's just lazy, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, but people who wouldn't expect to, to be using this, so, at least so, I mean, everybody, you know, 
it, you know, if it happens from time to time, it's not like the end of the world. Like it's, it's it literally doesn't matter. But um, you just you just wouldn't necessarily expect that of them because they have a reputation or of uh, of, of being, you know, rather not so you know whatever whatever you know you wouldn't expect it of uh, of that person but on twitter because they have like you know whatever like 180 or 240 or however many character it is that uh, that you have on twitter um because they have to like fit their message into the the stupid character limit that guy just got like destroyed i hope you saw that uh, because they have to fit into the character limit they uh, they end up using it like a lot all the time to fit their their message into the into the the, the Twitter you know the tweet because they want to have whatever they want to say in the tweet and they don't want to have to like link to a paste bin or something stupid you know which I know that a lot of people do do but it is is stupid and, and you know you're losing just a lot of readers from that way if, if it's just for like a couple of extra words or a couple of extra letters like it's just dumb um, so you end up with these like Smart people, you know, people with reputations and uh, responsibilities and and all this kind of stuff. You know, Jagmeet Singh, for example, and uh, they end up using all of this kind of like internet slang and and all this lazy writing to be able to fit it into the the Twitter feed. And they're and they're saying these like, you know, um, very meaningful things, but it just, it feels like just like a three year old is writing it sometimes, just because like. The Twitter character restrictions are just brutal for uh, for that kind of thing. But then you know, at the same time, you don't you don't have a better platform than Twitter really these days, especially with COVID going on. You can't really like hold a conference and have a whole bunch of people come over. Can't really do that. So Twitter is really the best, you know. And then and then even better because of, of COVID. Uh, but it's I just I always find it funny because because I, I guess the way that it goes. Is you have uh, the people who are going to write a long tweet, and you have the people who don't care about their grammar. They don't generally overlap. People who are don't really care about their grammar and are going to like you know shorten everything they can. Generally, don't have a lot to say. You know, they they they, they don't they generally don't have very insightful thoughts. I guess we'll put it that way. They, they don't they don't. They don't have much to talk about, okay? They're boring people. <laughs> I'm kidding, mostly. Um, but uh, you know, generally speaking, if if you're gonna be like that kind of person, you, most of your Twitter feed is, is probably, you know, stuff like uh, just want a game of Rocket League. How about you? You know, like whatever kind of I don't know what what do, what the kids do these days. Um, you know, like that that kind of meaningless sort of garbage which you know for you might have meaning for me is, is meaningless garbage it only has meaning for the people who it matters to and it doesn't matter to me so I'm sorry um, but uh, yeah the people who are gonna be writing out those long things are people who care about getting the meaning of their words across and and doing that clearly and concisely which requires better grammar so they're you know, typically gonna have better grammar on those people but then they can't have that so I always just imagine whenever whenever this comes up when I'm when I'm looking at somebody in this kind of position where they have like just terrible terrible grammar shortening every word they can find you know just like the worst kind of nonsense that you can see I always just imagine you know the person just like sitting there in their chair with the fully typed up thing you know and it'll be like you know proper grammar proper spelling you know everything's right in it and it's you know, like 20 characters over the limit. So they look at the words and like, can I shorten that one somehow? <laughs> what, how do you, how do you, is there like a different way I can say this one? How do you, how would I say this? Is that, are people going to understand that? Is that, is that going to make sense still? Uh, yeah, they call somebody, hey, does this, does this make sense to you? Does this, does this still make sense? <laughs> and it's just, it's just the funniest thing to me. It's just the funniest thing. Just imagining it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Just, just Jugmeet Singh sitting there in like uh, his office or whatever, his home. 
calls over. Is he married? I don't know. We're, we're gonna pretend he is. I, I imagine he is. Um, calls over his wife. Wife? Is he gay? I don't know. He calls over his partner. Okay, we'll just we'll be PC here, okay? He calls over his partner. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, I like him. I, I don't know much about his personal life, really. I don't know much about politics. So is it required to have a partner in Canada to, 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 to be the Prime Minister? Do you require that kind of support structure? To take on that, uh, that position? I don't know. I do not know. I do not care, either. I mean, I kind of do. I, I, I care because I'm curious about it. I don't care because it's something that I actually care about. You know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, I just imagine him sitting there in his office with this with this thing typed up, and he calls over. You know, we're gonna we're gonna. Mm, I'm sorry, Judge Meat, if you're watching this. You're not, but I'm, I'm sorry if you are. Um. But uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give him a whole family now, okay? He's got the typical, you know, nuclear family. He's got the husband and the wife, the two kids, you know. And uh, you know, he did have a. 17 year old daughter and a 12 year old son okay i have no idea what his personal life is like for the record i'm just i'm making something up here okay so to, to get the the story going it's it's what goes on in my brain this is what this is what makes it so funny for me okay so he's sitting in his office and he's got this tweet going and he's got uh you know no 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 it's gotta it's gotta be better it's gotta be it's, yeah you can one up it okay it's not it's not even a tweet okay we're yeah. I'm I'm really sorry, Jugmeat. <laughs> I'm gonna make you look real bad on this one in my brain, but it's it's this is this is why I I, I enjoy it. Um, he doesn't have a computer in his office, right? He doesn't he doesn't know how all this kind of stuff works because he's a boomer. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure he knows it all fine. He's playing Among Us tomorrow, okay? He's he's fine. But I have to laugh at it, okay? So this is why I find it funny because this is the lengths that my brain goes to, okay? So. uh... Let's imagine for a second that he's a boomer and he doesn't understand technology, okay? Uh, so he's got like papers and like uh, you're using a blue or a black pen. He'd probably, he'd probably, he'd, he'd probably be a blue pen user. I'd say. There is no crossover between um, race and pens, by the way. I, I understand that there totally could be, you know, blue for cops and black for, you know, black people um there isn't though okay it's it's just it's just he I, I think he's a blue pen user he, he feels like a blue pen user it's a little bit clearer in my opinion and i i think he'd i think he'd go for that okay he's got his blue pen and uh he's writing down the tweet he counts all the characters word like letter by letter and uh he hands it to his daughter and he's like hey is is this, is this good enough? And she's like, Nah, nah. It's it's too many. It's too many words. It's too many characters. You have to trim off twenty two letters. So he starts like crossing off letters in the on the paper and making a bunch of notes. Like, you know, what kind of words can I use for this? And uh, he gets it down. He asks his daughter again, Hey, is this is this good enough? And she's like, Yep, that's that's that'll that'll work. She's like, okay, before before you post it, can can you bring your brother over? We have to we have to make sure that this makes sense. And so the whole family comes in, they're all reading this tweet that he's gonna be putting out. And uh They're all like, Yeah, no, that that that, that makes sense. You know, you, you look like a four year old, but it makes sense. It makes sense. You know, that's that's Twitter's fault, not yours. I get it, I get it. And then he posts a tweet and it's asking Northern Lions to play Among Us. And to me, that picture that that flows through my brain as I as I just kind of like imagine this. That's 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 my thinking process on it, right? Like that's I imagine it and I make it worse and worse and worse for him every step of the way. I'm sure he's a very reasonable person who understands how like phones work. I'm sure. I have no doubt. Um, but to me, I just I I see it and then my brain just goes like, yeah, we're gonna like. We're gonna just ruin it, okay? And uh, that's what my brain does. But I get a good kick out of it, just just thinking about uh, Jug Meat Singh sitting there, and he, uh, you know, writing down on a piece of paper his tweet, then tweeting it, and then you know after it goes live, he's like, 
you know, ask him like, hey, how many retweets did we get? <laughs> I don't know why, but I just find it so funny. Oh, it's it's hilarious to me. It's the, it's the grandest thing. It's completely not what actually happens. What actually happens is probably he tells like you know an intern to be like, hey, I want to tweet something like this, and then the intern writes, and he's like, ah, no, that part's probably like not quite good enough, and then they change it, and he's like, yeah, it's good, send it, and then you know it gets sent. That's probably like more realistic to to what kind of happens. Maybe he writes them himself. I don't know. I don't really care. I don't really care how it gets out. I just want to laugh at it. So I'll, I'll make him look funny in my brain. Anyway, he's playing Among Us tomorrow. I'm sure as heck watching that. I'm sure as heck watching that, dude. Probably watching his VOD <laughs> in bed, if uh, if that's a thing. I think they're just doing it on Twitch, so should be able to get VOD. It would be, be terrible, like, just a terrible decision to stream it as a live event and then not have any way of watching it, um, you know, post-event. That'd be a terrible idea. If that's what they're doing, then, uh, you know what, buddy? I know I just made fun of you for being a boomer. I don't even think he is a boomer. I'm pretty sure he, I don't know. Is he a boomer? I don't know how old he is. He might be a boomer. He might be a millennial. I don't really know. I don't really know when the, you know, when, 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 when is one a boomer and when is one a millennial anyway? At what, at what point does that change? I think 1996 is when they go from millennial to Gen Z. It's when the zoomers come in. I'm the uh, I'm one of the oldest living, or I'm one of the youngest. <laughs> Quite different. I'm one of the youngest living millennials on the planet. So I was born, you know, late '95. Um, but I'm still a millennial. Dang it. I uh, you know, people always get weird about like defining generational like terms like that. Sometimes people will say like, oh, well, millennial is anything before the millennium. I'm pretty sure it's just 96, though. Um, some, you know, people will be like, yeah, it's any time before the millennium. So, you know, any time before 2000 is, uh, is a millennial. I'm like, I don't know. I always heard it was 96, but okay. Uh, and then... Uh, you know, other people are like, well, you're only a millennial if you remember, you know, the times before 2000. Then I'm like, well, I was born in 95. Like, you can't remember when you were five. I'm like, I literally remember my first birthday. So, you know. Um, yeah. And then other people are like, yeah, well, only only 92 is, is when the cutoff is. I'm like, you know what? I'm calling it 96. Okay, that's that's my that's my final verdict. I'm not changing it again. That's when it is for me. Anyway, I don't know how old he is, so I don't know if he's a boomer or millennial or maybe he's Gen Z. He's definitely not Gen Z. I like, I can say that with absolute confidence. I don't know. I think millennials are like 40 years old now, right? Getting close anyway, right? Like mid late 30s even. I don't know. So I'm somewhere around there. Millennials are old, dude. We're old. I remember growing up when I was, uh, you know, 14, 15 ish. And uh, millennials, you know, they were. Gen Z wasn't a thing yet. Gen, Gen Z wasn't a thing yet. We were millennials. Uh, every, everybody younger than the older generation was a millennial. Basically, at, at that point. Yeah, maybe even a bit earlier than 15. Um, and uh, I remember thinking about millennials, and like people always talk about millennials, right? I don't know if you're growing up now, you probably have a different view of uh, like what the general sort of social sort of like view of millennials is, and like kind of like their maturity level, I guess. Because when I was growing up. Millennials were the young ones, right? Uh, millennials were the people who were young. Boomers were the, you know, baby boomers. We weren't, they weren't really called boomers back then. Um, I, mean, I guess kind of they were, but it's mostly about millennials, really. 
Um, but they were like young. It's like all oh, these dang millennials always, you know, using LOL and whatever other kind of garbage. You know, back in my day, LOL was lots of love. <laughs> Crazy, right? Um, but you know, I, I don't know. Growing up, millennials were the young ones, so it's still today. Even though I know that millennials are now like adults, all all millennials are, are, are adults, functional well. Adults. Not gonna add on the functional clause. They are they are all adults. We are all adults, but we may not all be functional. Um, some of us may be dead. That got grim. Uh, but uh, you know, all millennials are adults now, right? And. I don't know. I guess if you're growing up now, then then when people talk about millennials, you think of people who are like old. You know? Like like I I I I I guess I guess the way it goes is. What are we here, boys and girls? Please 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 yes. I guess the way it goes is uh you know the. My kid, eventually, whenever the hell that happens, um, or, or my generation's kids, um, are going to think of us as, as old people. We're going to be the boomers. And I'm like almost there now. And I'm like, I don't know. It just it feels, it feels weird for that to kind of not be switched, but like progressed. It's, it's a weird thing. Anyway, Jugmeet Singh is playing. Among Us tomorrow. That's cool, right? Watch it, I guess. He's playing with Northern Knight. It'll be a good time. Northern Knight's fun. He's going to make it fun. <laughs> if nothing else. If, if nothing else, I trust that... Uh, it's weird. There's there's like a political leader. Uh, you know, the, the NDP, like, you know, person, right? And then I'm like, yeah, well, like, you know, I trust Northern Knight to make sure that, uh, you know, it's a fun time. But I, I do trust Northern Light more for that. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, he's the entertainer here, right? Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment to see everything. Huh? Bye.